before this video starts, I just want to say I got this from a GitHub page by the user HRKRSHNN. This GitHub page will be linked down below. Hopefully, you guys could check it out yourself. If, you, if I can't completely explain it to you guys, hopefully, you guys could check it out. So, the very first example that we'll be going over is uh, caching the length in for loops. So, in the very first code snippet, we have a regular for loop where i is equal to zero and i is less than r dot length and then after that we increment i in the above case the solidity compiler will always read the length of the array during each iteration so if we're iterating through a storage array this is going to be an extra s load operation which is around 100 additional extra gas for every iteration except the very first one and if this was a memory array this will cost an extra M load operation, which is three additional gas for every iteration except for the very first one. And if this was a call data array, this will call an extra call data load operation, which is three additional gas for every iteration except for the very first one. This can be avoided by caching the array length in the stack. So in the second code snippet, we have length we store the r dot length inside length and after that we just do the exact same thing but we iterate through length so in this example s load m load or whatever called data load whatever kind of a array it is like how we were explaining above is only called once and after that it is replaced by a cheap dup and op operation or instruction even though m load and call data and dump n have the same gas cost, m load and call data need an additional dump to put the offset in the stack, which is an extra three gas. This kind of optimization is very important if you have a lengthy loop or if it's a storage array. In the next example that we'll be going over, it's going to be called use call data instead of memory for function parameters. So in the very first code snippet, we see that memory is being used as a function parameter in this example the, the, dy the dynamic array has a story location of memory and when the function gets called externally the array values are kept in call data and copied to memory during abi decoding and during every for loop accessing the array uses m load but in the second code snippet that we have, we have called data. And instead of going via memory, like how we were going in the very first one, the value is directly called from call data and using call data load. And that eliminates the whole process of copying the value from call data to memory for every time it loops, which saves around at least 60 gas for every iteration. So in short, only use call data instead of memory if the function argument is only reading. The next example that we'll be going over is uh, state variables that can be set to immutable. State variables are variables whose values are permanently stored in a contract storage. So in the following contract or in the following snippet of code, contract C sets message.sender to owner. And but in this very first snippet of code, this will cost around 2,100 gas cold or 100 gas warm. But in the second snippet above, which is more gas efficient, we have contract C with sending owner to message sender, which is the same thing that the first snippet of code was doing. But the only difference is that we add immutable. And with immutable, the value is set during contract construction time which is only which costs around only three gas which is a lot more efficient than the very first one so i guess an example i want to go over is uh considered having oh, oh i guess the next thing that we'll be going over is uh considered having short reverse strings so in this code snippet we have condition which is a boolean str which is a string and with the required function, you usually have these both of them condition and a string. And for this, make sure your 
reason string, which is your string, takes at least 32 bytes. If it's more than 32 bytes, this will become very expensive. And I'm going to use this example that I got from Muda Gupta, which in the first example, you see that the string is under 32 bytes, which is insufficient balance. But then in the second example, we could clearly see that the string is way over 32 bytes. So it will cost, this will make the cost of gas go a lot higher in your code. The very last example that we'll be going over is incrementing in a for loop post condition can be made unchecked. So in the very first example, we have a regular for loop, which is i equals zero, i is less than length, and then i plus plus. In the loop post condition, i plus plus involves check arithmetic, which is not required because i will always be less than two to the power of 256 minus 2 so it can never overflow but the compiler or the solidity compiler cannot or is not smart enough to detect and remove this check so one can manually do this just by doing by by uh, making your own function which which does not check it so in the second snippet we have this unchecked in increment which just uh does the exact thing exact same thing as i plus plus but removes the checked arithmetic because i plus plus can never overflow just know that this is only possible st starting from version 0.8.2 and this usually saves around 30 to 40 gas per loop iteration which is which could be a lot if you have a very lengthy loop. Thank you for watching my video. Peace.